Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of my Sims 101 tutorial series. And today we will be concentrating on babies and toddlers. And in the last episode, Vincent and Liberty had the usual Sims worldwide, world, worldwide whirlwind romance where they started dating, got engaged and got married all in one sim day, following the great tradition of many other sims all over the world. And Yogi, Yogi's just there, I mean she's a dog, she likes, she doesn't like the radio but she likes playing around, Liberty loves her and we're now just getting ready for the, for the child, for the new arrival. So at the moment when you have a sim who is pregnant, um, if she's working, actually I didn't actually check to see if Liberty has a job. Yes, she has a job. She is an astronaut. Oh, very nice. And once they are, once they're, once they're pregnant, you can see which semester they're in. If you look along here at the bottom where you have, um, things that your sims are feeling um, and it will show you if you hover over the little baby dummy it will show you which tri which trimester they're in so currently she's in the first trimester but she'll be second trimester in 22 hours so let's fast forward this a little bit because you know there's not much they will be doing apart from going on with their daily lives and eating and sleeping and having fun, being happy, because I've got lots of happy moodlets from getting married, from being engaged, from getting married, from being pregnant, and from eating good to good food. And also, the more happy moodlets they have, the more it will boost. So I should say the more of one moodlet they have, it will, the more it would boost um, the other moods that they have. So at the moment she's very happy because she's got lots of really happy um feelings. Alright Vincent, why are you not sleeping in the bed next to your wife? Let's just play for a second. Uh, you're not particularly tired. Okay. Actually, where's Yogi? Where is Yogi? Oh, she's inside. I was going to send them out for a walk, but she's watching. No, she's just inside on the couch, as you do. I don't think she like. Oh, she wants to go out. But now everybody's sleeping. Let's slow that down a second. I don't know if you noticed Yogi. She was barking, and there was lots of um hearts coming off her. That means she's ready to um to mate. So if we had a male dog and they were friends, we could get them to mate. Actually, I didn't think about that. We could have tried that. Hmm. I could get Vincent to adopt a dog, an adult male. Yeah, because I've never really had puppies or kittens with any of my, any of my animals. I don't play with animals that often, to be honest. But let's have a look. Uh, Vincent, you... It's four in the morning. Oh, Liberty's awake. We can get her to adopt a pet. Oh, she needs to go and use the bathroom. Yeah, so there's Yogi, and she's got the love hearts and stuff. Yeah, she's ready to, to mate with a male dog. All right, so Liberty, you're awake. Let's get you to adopt a dog. Um household, hire a service, um, adopt a cat, adopt a dog. Alright, we want a 
let's have a look. Uh, puppy, we don't want puppies. We want a full grown dog. I wish there was an easier way. Adult female, adult male, but he's neutered. Adult female, adult male, but he's neutered. Well, that's no good for us. Is that all? No good. Okay. I am going to go into create a sim and create a dog for this household and then move him in and I will be back in a minute. And I'm back. Now we have, who do we have? I've forgotten what his name is. Salem. Although he's not happy about something. Oh, I think we need a dog house now that I think about it. Oh, there you go. The magic's happening. We don't need a doghouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought they'd have to be friends and stuff, but um, I think Yogi and Salem, they knew exactly what they needed to do, which is fine. But basically, as I was trying to explain, what I was trying to, what I had to do was go into um, Manage Worlds, which is this button here. And I had to go in and create a new family. So it was Salem and a random sim that I just put in because you can't have a, a pet by themselves as a household. I moved that household here into Vincent's home. And then the random sim that I had created, I moved them out. So then Salem was left behind with Yogi, Vincent and Liberty. And I think Yogi and Salem, they just made babies. So whether Yogi's pregnant or not, I'm not sure how you will ever find out. I think we might have to wait a couple of days, a couple of sim days, and then she'll end up with puppies. But like I said, I think I do need a dog house. I'm not 100%, but it doesn't hurt to get a dog house. Because when, um, when I moved in Salem and the random sim, it had added, added funds to the household, which was pretty good. All right, let's get a pet house. Search. No, that's not what I want. Pets. Really? You couldn't bring that up? Okay, pet care, pet toys, pet furniture. Pet furniture? Mm, no. Miscellaneous. Might be under miscellaneous. No. And all. Although, to be honest, I might be mixing it up with another Sim franchise. Extra bowl. No, I'm not seeing anything. No, oh, that's the thing. Okay, I think I might be mix I might be mixing up my my versions because I know in previous sim versions you needed a a doghouse, but it doesn't seem like you need one. They have any for the Sims. Um, let her out. Actually, she wants to go for a walk. Um. More choices, pet care, go on a walk, a short walk. But basically let's, oh, <laughs> Vincent needs to use, I, the bathroom walk always makes me laugh. But let's, let's leave everything just playing with our sims. Are you not taking? Yes, you are. 
You are taking him. Let's leave our sims. No, you'll not take... Will you go and take your dog for a walk? That's it. Okay, let's leave everything just cooking. And let our sims do their thing. I just wanted to say, how cute is that? Salem sleeps on his back. <laughs> with his little legs up in the air. Oh, I, just, I thought that was hilarious. I just thought I'd come in and, and show you that. Show that to you guys. Okay, I've just come back in to say that I've just realised that um, got a baby on the way. Um, can we see? Liberty's in her second trimester, and we don't have a nursery, so we have two options. We can either take Vincent's um office and turn that into a nursery, or we can see if we can build one from scratch. And I always take the easy option, so we're going to turn his office into a nursery. And we might have to build a very small extension on the end of the house to, um, so that he can have his office. So um, I will be back after I finish building stuff. Okay, I may have gone a little bit overboard with the kid stuff. Um, got a bookcase we have what else do we have got a bookcase we've got um a trunk full of toys we've got barfly barfly i guess that might be a play on barney if you're old enough to remember or unfortunate enough to remember barney um yeah at least it's not a purple dinosaur then we'd know it was really was barney Let's rename you. What should we call you? Mr. Stuffikins is a good name. And also, I'd like to point out that when your sim is pregnant, they will keep the clothes that they have. They don't have separate pregnancy outfits like they had in previous sim, Sims franchises. But sometimes the mesh doesn't really fit the um, the pregnancy bolt, as you can see. You know, it's a bit kind of bumpy looking <laughs> under her bump. But it's something worth taking note of. And now Liberty has gone into labour. And where is she at the moment? Oh, she's in the bathroom. She's rubbing her belly. She is moaning. And if she, if um, Vincent was there, he'd be there running around and throwing his hands up in the air. So you have two choices. You can either have the baby at home or you can have the baby at the hospital. And if you have the baby at home, you have the baby and the bassinet appears. You click have baby at hospital and you can either join them or you can they can go by themselves a bit like the careers that they have in the fact in the franchise so we're going to join liberty vincent's going to join her and you arrive at the hospital which is also the venue for the doctor career liberty will come in she'll lie on the thing <laughs> and then you have the very humorous sims take on having a baby <laughs> So the doctor, who looks like she's doing lots of really official things, in actual fact, she is playing a game. I'm not sure what you'd call it, to be honest. It's, um, because I mean, they're dropping babies, but I don't know what they're dropping them into. And I'm not quite sure what they're squirting into the mother either. It's either milk or glue. <laughs> I don't know. But you can see that Liberty's a patient because she has the um the little heart over her head. And we have a girl. So I um I've randomized randomized her name. And I don't really like any of the options that are coming up, but I do like Clara, you know, Clara Oswald. So yeah. We're going to stick with Clara. And we have a girl. A 
you take the baby out, put the baby in the bassinet, and then Liberty is free to go home with baby Clara. So once you're at home, you cannot interact with the baby as you would with other Sims, and all your interactions are done on the bassinet. So if you click on the cot, it will give you all the options that you can do with the baby. And all of the options, they will bring up um, your social with the baby. So within a couple of sim days, you're, you know, best friends almost. You also have the option to breastfeed or bottle feed, which I find is pretty cool. And you have the little privacy screen as well. I guess they have to blur it out for the sensors. So what we are going to do now, we are going to age up the baby because it is basically three days of just making sure the baby's okay. So for this life stage, you don't need a birthday cake and you get to pick the baby's, um, you don't have an aspiration, but you get to pick a trait for the baby. Toddlers. They spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. Oh, this is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. I think I'm going to pick Angelic, because they're idyllic, easygoing toddlers, and you've got Clingy, Charmer, Independent, Fussy, Wild, Inquisitive. but I'm going to pick Angelic. And there we have um, Toddler Clara. If we turn her around and have a look, um, I think she's got Liberty's mouth, I can't tell. And also we need to refurbish her bedroom because she can't sleep with the cot. She needs a pet bed, not pet bed, a toddler bed. Um, you can either feed toddlers on the couch or in the high chair. And now it's time to, um, to age her up. So you need to bake a cake. You can pick either chocolate or white cake. I guess it's like a vanilla cake. You bake the cake, you add birthday candles, and then you will, you pick up, Lib, uh, not Liberty, pick up Clara, and you help her to blow out candles. And usually toddlers have quite a long lifespan, but you know, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. You just teach them their skills and you know, you get them to do stuff before you age them up. Although there's no penalty if they have no skills and you age them up. So, um, so yeah, I'm just doing it a little bit early for the purposes of the, of the game. So you pick her up, she will blow out the candles and spin. Although the spin is going to get blocked by the, um, the pop-up that comes off. You can't see what's happening. And you get to get give her a aspiration and a trait. So I've given her the WizKid aspiration and she's a genius. And now she's had her bedroom made over 
and she's ready for the next big adventure in life, childhood. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.